you had two book recommendations. They're both by Marcus Buckingham. So I was curious what brought those to your attention. If you were, a, and I know you mentioned that he had kind of founded various things and moved on and, and done other things. So was uh, one of those books brought to you somehow and then you found the other one or were you a fan of his or, you know, I'm just interested how yeah. the two books you both mentioned are from the same person. Yes. Well, I mentioned it because they were related to the assessment link that I had sent out. Um, but just to answer your question a little bit more broadly, which I think is where you were going to, and I, I, I sort of revealed um, a little bit behind the scenes here that, I, that I'm a bit of a nerd. But so I was, so I scanned the environment on the strengths scene, so to speak. So I have a, I have a certification in the field of positive psychology. And so I wanted to, um, bring some of this to the world. And when I looked at the different strengths assessments that are out there, this one stood out to me because of what I said earlier, that's action oriented. It's like, what do you do? Um, I have taken a bunch of the other strengths assessments and I have found them really interesting. I mean, like Julie, like I, I love taking them and exploring the different layers and then progressing from there but I found them harder to execute on. So I know like for strength finders, what my top five, you know, what my talents are, what my themes are. And I still find it harder to execute on those because it seems more like it's about my personality than about what I do. And this, I find easier to pivot when I already know what my strengths are, which are verbs or thoughts or things I, that I do into applying it to different situations at work. 